what is golden age syndrome and do you have it? So let me start this by asking a question. What is your favorite time period? Leave it in the comments below. Do you like the 1970s, the 1980s, the 1950s, the Renaissance, medieval times, Roman times? What time period speaks most to you? And now by answering this question, you'll really kind of focus on one true thing, and that is what you value in life. So it depends how into history you are. If you're not that into history, you probably don't really care. And if you're really not that into history, then I don't really know why you clicked on this video, but whatever, welcome anyways. So what golden age syndrome is, is it is an idea that life was better or in some way superior in the past than it is right now in the present day. Now things you may often hear, Things were cheaper in the past. So in the past, a man can work and support his whole family, his wife, his kids, have a home, have one car, and go on vacation for two weeks a year and be able to do it all with one salary. Milk was cheaper, bus fare was cheaper, homes were cheaper, everything was cheaper. The next thing you might hear is that life was easier in the past. So in the past, life wasn't so complex. Life wasn't so busy. Life wasn't so all over the place like it is now. It was a simpler time. Next, you might hear life was more fun in the past. So people were more outgoing, people went out more, the music was better, it was just all around fun. You guys don't know how to have fun today. We had a good time. You guys don't know what you're missing. Another thing you might hear is people socialized more in the past. So especially now, since we live in a world of cell phones, technology, social media, right? The older generations often say that people socialized more in the past, and that's probably not not true, right? So they would they'll often say that when they went to bars, people would be talking to each other more, people would be on the street more, kids would knock on each other's doors more, and it was just an all-around better environment and more social environment. You may also hear that technology has ruined society. The cell phone, the internet, the computer, all of that stuff has forced people indoors and people are not outside with their neighbors anymore, you know, conversing, talking about their day, learning from each other, having face-to-face -face conversation. And technology has created kind of this world of a dystopian society where nobody really knows anyone. Next, you may hear social media has ruined society. So. Now that we have social media, everyone's comparing themselves to others. Everyone has this unrealistic expectation of what life is. Everyone is showing off to their social media friends. Finally, and I think this is the biggest one that goes one in one with golden age syndrome. And life was more beautiful or more romantic in the past. So now if you follow my channel and if you watch a lot of the stuff on my channel, you might say to yourself, well, JP, half of the stuff you talk about is golden age syndrome. And that is true. A lot of the stuff that I talk about on this channel talks about returning to nature, not necessarily returning to the past. I talk a lot about the past and how we deviated from the past and how we deviated from the way things are and how things are natural to men. But I never really say that life was better in the past. I just talk about how we deviated from our true nature and how we've come to be where we are and how that creates dissatisfaction in life. But I do not think that life is any worse now than it was in the past. I think we have just deviated so far from the path of natural human and male existence that it has created quote unquote unhappiness. The most important point to note is the idea that life was more beautiful and more romantic in the past. So what does that mean? Well, people are looking at the past in a very romantic manner. They're kind of putting a pastoral almost image of almost art like of what the past was. So you watch movies and it seems interesting, right? You you see paintings and it seems interesting. You read about these societies, you you watch documentaries about them and their life seemed more interesting, right? There was a little more danger, there was a little bit more mystery, there was a little bit more unknown, right? You may like the music from a different time. You may like the culture from a different time. You may like the politics of a different time, right? So you create the past in your mind as something that is romantic, beautiful, pastoral, almost like a beautiful painting. 
something that's not really realistic to your current reality, but something that is nice to admire. And it almost creates a sort of nostalgia, even if you didn't live in the time, right? So say you were born in the 1990s, but you find disco really appealing, right? You may find that era fascinating. You may listen to the music, you may wish the world was more like then, right? So golden age syndrome is creating a beautiful romantic image of the past and comparing that to your reality and creating unhappiness with your own current reality because you're not living in the, rom the romanticized image that you created in your head based on the imagery that you've seen of a time that tickles your fancy. And how does this even come up? Well, the answer is life is boring. The present is boring, right? It's monotonous. It is quote unquote normal, right? It's normal to you. You were born in this time. You grew up in this time. What you see on the street, the cars, the lighting, the type of buildings, the people, the way people talk, the way people socialize, uh, nightlife, everything is normal to you. And why is it normal to you? Because that is the snippet of time and space that you exist in. But let me tell you something. Someone decades or centuries from now find everything about your life fascinating. They love the type of cars there are. They like the way the streets built. They are interested in the music. They're interested in the lifestyle. They like the danger of it. They like the, the way that the buildings look. They like the architecture. They like the way we dress. They like the way we talk, right? So your life is interesting to somebody in the future who is bored with their present existence, who's bored with their normal. So what does this mean? This means that you have to appreciate your snippet in time and space that you exist in, your history. Because believe it or not, to someone several decades or centuries from now, you are like one of those old time pictures or movies, right? You represent an image of the past. You represent an image of excitement. You represent an image of living in this fascinating time you represent an idea of, wow, how did people live like that? And you're in it and you don't even know it to that person in the future. It could be your great, great, great grandchildren, right? So I think what's important is you have to appreciate the snippet of time and space that you live in because that is the fate that you've had in your life and you need to learn something from this particular era. This is the era that you were meant to be in. Appreciate it for what it is. Don't focus so much on the past being better. Don't focus so much on the present and what could be. Focus on the here and now. Focus on this decade, this year, this month, this day. Because you are never going to get it back. And this day, this month, this year means something to someone. It may not mean anything to you now. It may mean something to you in five, 10 years. But the normality of it makes it boring, but it does mean something to somebody. So make sure that you're living in the present, you love where you're living in time, and you make the best of it. Okay guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe, uh, like, share this video, uh, leave me a comment below. What era do you like the best and are you living in a golden age syndrome? Are you trying to come back to the present? Okay guys, leave me the answer below. Take care.